After a successful European Championships, the handball world was hot on the heels of Sander Sagerson, and multiple top teams were chasing the 1m92 Norwegian signature. Having played for Charlottenlund, Kolstad, Haslam and most recently Aalborg, Paris Saint-Germain would be his next destination. The 22-year-old put pen to paper with a contract until 2020, fulfilling one of his dreams in the process. After settling into the team quickly, it was time to show us around the city of love. So many good places and I love to be around the Eiffel Tower and just watch it. And I love to be around Trocadero and in the, the Republic, it's so much good restaurants, so I really, really like to, to go out and have some good food and just be with people I really like. Sagerson is hopefully the missing piece of the puzzle for Paris in securing a Velux EHF Champions League title. As always, the pressure is on in the French capital. We should win every game we, we play. That's how, we, how it is in Paris Saint-Germain. But I don't think about that. I put a lot of pressure on myself and I always try to perform as a high level as I can and I just try to enjoy, uh, enjoy playing here because it's, it's a dream for me and it's a child dream to, to, to be able to play here. Throughout the summer, he was linked to a number of German clubs. However, his girlfriend, Hanna Bredal Oftedal, who has played for Paris handball since 2014, was a big part of his decision to make the move. Germany, it's the toughest league and uh, a lot of great, uh, great uh, teams there. But uh, when Paris uh, asked me to come here, it was it was an easy choice for me. Paris is most professional in every way. They have the best, uh, yeah, best opportunities to to get to the to be the best. And of course, you want to live with your girlfriend, so so it's perfect the way it is now. For me, it was an easy choice. In handball and tap handball, it's so so small details to to, to be the best. And uh, they were so close last season uh, to to be in the final and in a final and in the final four, everything can happen. That have you seen the the last five years, I think. Uh, so so it's difficult, but we have to work hard as a team now to to be able to to win the final four this season. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that experience.